Coming away from that game there against Arsenal, one all draw at Old Trafford with a feeling that we really could have won, should have won against what was such an average, average Arsenal team. The problem is that United are just as average. The moments of quality there from Scott McTominay and Aubameyang's finish when he chipped over De Gea, effectively the only two real outstanding moments of quality. Back in the day, it was all about Keane and Vieira, Henri, Ronaldo, Van Persie, Burkamp, Scholes, Beckham, Giggs. Then look at that game there. That was largely a Sunday league level of football from United and Arsenal. But I'm pissed off because I think United could have quite easily come away with three points there tonight. Why was Marcus Rashford starting? When he pulled up with a groin injury, was ruled out of the game completely, and then played the full 90 minutes. Solskjaer, I love you, man, but you made, a, I think, a clear mistake there. For 60 minutes of the game, Rashford just looked not fit. And he looked better when you put him on the right-hand side instead of up front. But Mason Greenwood should have started that game. Scored two in his last two starts. And back on the bench the day before his 18th birthday. That was a tactical mistake from United. Another mistake that we definitely made was Callum Chambers got booked early on. Yet we didn't really go down that side. Dan James should have been given the ball one-on-one -on -one against Chambers time and time again until we forced him into a mistake and got him sent off. Instead, United just, we didn't really look like we knew what we were doing. The only reason we didn't lose that game is because Arsenal... Had no idea what they were doing either. Two teams there very much in disarray. But it was Scott McTominay's goal that made the difference. And I love Scott McTominay. Gone out there, I've said it. McTominay, given that award by Mourinho, and was laughed at by United fans. I had no idea why he gave him that award. But game on game, McTominay keeps improving. Right until the 94th minute there, chasing forward. He's got the desire to win the game. And he had the quality today. That pass back by Rashford, top corner. It wasn't top corner, sorry, but just top quality finish from McTominay. Don't care about the deflection. McTominay there with the sort of performance that we didn't think he was capable six months ago. And that's why he need, deserves to be praised. And for me, my clear man of the match today was Scott McTominay from United's perspective. Gwen Doozy was very good for Arsenal. And so again, that was the only real place where there was any quality on the pitch. The defence was so bad. Yet we still only scored one goal. It's becoming a bit of a problem for United. I say becoming, it is a massive problem for United. We just don't score more than one goal in a game. That needs to be sorted. Rashford shouldn't be starting that game. Alkmaar away next. Can't wait, I'm going to go out to the for that one. But Greenman's going to start there. And if he scores again, does that, mean he, does that mean he starts against Newcastle? He should have started this game. And that was a big mistake, I think, from Solskjaer. Twan Zeve playing left back. You have to commend him for his overall performance. But what a shame that his poor pass led to their goal. Real shame because Twan Zeve played brilliantly at centre-back against Rochdale. Was asked to come in to replace Wan Bissaka, who's a right back, but then ended up playing left back because Ashley Young got switched. So much was expected of him in terms of... Say, ooh, Big pressure there tonight. He dominated it, apart from that one mistake. But I think Tuan Zebe showed tonight there that if Ash, if sorry, if Luke Shaw's not fit, Tuan Zebe's playing left back. End of story. No Young there anymore. No Rojo anymore. Tuan Zebe. He needs to play where he can in the starting eleven. That's that is what it is because Lindelof and Maguire. Lindelof tonight. Ooh, Maguire. Mm, just so many. Ifs and buts and mm, performances from United in a match where, look, Arsenal were crap. Absolutely crap. Their back five was abysmal. Yet United didn't punish them at all. And that's down to our own sheer lack of quality. And unfortunately, that really is starting to shine through properly. United are just not a very good football team anymore. Not at the moment, not with this team, not with this squad, not as it stands. It's going to be a scrappy season. It's not going to be pretty. But if we win the Europa League, it's going to be a success. For me, that top four, there's real quality in that league. City, Liverpool, Leicester right now. Spurs, Chelsea. Don't worry about Arsenal. They're just as bad. 
But I think United's focus has to be the Europa League for me. Because in the league, we're dropping points constantly. Another two points dropped, I would say, there. We should have beaten Arsenal tonight. That's what I think. Yes, the quality wasn't there overall and United are just a distinctly average football team at the moment. But Arsenal were just there for the taking. Terrible defending from them. Just not good enough by United to expose their weaknesses. So they got away with one. And maybe we did right towards the end when they put a little bit of pressure on. But McTominay, easily man of the match. The sort of level of performance. Yeah, he w no one's expecting McTominay to be the Scottish Paul Pogba. No one's expecting him to have the flicks and the tricks and to be that elite level footballer. But like Darren Fletcher, he's clearly making the most of what he has. Gary Neville was never an incredible footballer. He made himself a great right back through hard work. And McTominay is a shining example of that. And that is why Solskjaer loves him, why Mourinho loved him. And you can see why now. There's so many things that United need to improve on this season. Scoring one goal, more than one goal in a game would be a really fucking nice place to start. But for me, two points dropped definitely tonight against Arsenal. Let me know what you think about that game in the comments below. But McTominay... Love the kid. Man of the match for me. Alkmaar next. Let's see what happens. But cannot believe that Mason Greenwood did not start ahead of Marcus Rashford. I think that's a big mistake from Solskjaer. And it's cost us two points.